Hello world. I uh, just got my Oculus Rift. This video is obviously about the uh, the awesomeness that is virtual reality. Uh, pretty cool box. I like the presentation. This is nice. Can't wait to start get this uh, to start to get this bad boy underway. Um, I don't have a stand right now, so I don't. I'm not really gonna have much of a unboxing video so to speak but um, I'll record along the way oh my goodness it's one of the best, best boxes that I've ever had to open it took me a while to figure out how to open this thing but you just kinda plop this thing open and nice look at this thing oh my goodness oh man it is light I had the DK2. It was a little heavier, but uh, this this looks nice. I'm gonna take real good care of this box, actually. If I decide to sell it in the future, whoever's gonna get it is gonna get it in mint condition. But man, all right, let's let's get it popping. This is the controller that came with it. Um, um, nice little Xbox controller. Came with a uh, adapter um, that I'm about to hook up. And um, that's that's one of the minimum system requirements, I guess. One of the things that you need in order to get this Oculus uh, Rift working. So let me install that. So right here's my setup. It's where I'm gonna figure out where to install it. Um, I got a 4770K processor um, and a GeForce GTX 980 Ti. Should be more than enough to run all these games in uh, close to high or maybe ultra settings, depending on the game. But this is where I'm going to do the, the installation. I previously installed the Oculus Home when I had the DK2. So I'm just going to rerun the setup and, um, and get it going. It's, turns out that you got to connect it to two USB 3.0 ports and one HDMI out of the video card. So let me take care of that and hopefully I won't run into any issues. All right, uh, I just hooked them up, went in the back, hooked up the USB, oh, sorry for that, USB 3.0 cords and uh, had no issues with the software detecting it. I was just praying to God that it wouldn't uh, give me any shit. So here we go. Let me see what happens next. Uh, all right, I guess I gotta do the little remote deal. Where did I put that? So it's asking me to pull out the tab, this little plastic tab in the back of the remote. So let me see. Having issues. It's actually pretty hard. So it turns out that you don't necessarily have to pull the plastic tab. You're supposed to just slide the back of it out <laughs> and uh, and remove the battery plastic. Jeez Louise, this was the last thing I wanted to run into. <laughs> but looks like should be running. All right. I literally had to go to Reddit <laughs> and find out if anybody ran into that and somebody did. So thank you Reddit. Alright, um, the remote is okay. Pressed on it. Boom. We're set up. About my remote. Sure. Okay. Um, yeah, so I managed to get this thing set up and finally up and running. I got uh, Lucky's Tail running. i um, actually using the Rift right now. It's uh, it's amazing. This this thing is it looks better than the DK2. Uh, the tracking is way way smoother and responsive. Uh, I'm about to try out a couple of demos. Uh, Apollo 11, Project Cars, uh, I just can't wait. Um, have my family members come over today and experience the 
the wonder that is VR. Absolutely amazing. Super happy with this. And uh, I don't know if I'll be making more videos, but if I do, stay tuned.